Hi, I'm Chuck Norris. Welcome to Kenny's Karate World. I have an ego just like everybody else does. You know, I like to have my, my ego massaged, and I like to feel like I'm just absolutely fantastic. But the thing of it is, I have never believed that I was as good as people think I am. I, I seriously believe that. Uh, I go out and spar, and if I win, I think a lot of it is luck. I throw the kick. It's not my fault the guy runs into it, right? <laughs> but what happens is, I don't think I'm that good. I like to kick, but I've seen people out there with better punches than I have, better kicking techniques, just as flexible, if not more so. But I, I like to fight, and it's, and it's enjoyable to me, and it's always been fun. The ego aspect comes from, I guess, I've never believed what I've read. You know, people say, well, Wallace could beat this guy, Wallace could beat that guy, Wallace could do this. I don't believe that, because anybody can win on any certain day. It's, it's just the same in basketball, football. Uh, look at the World Series. You know, the... the, the, the Olympics. Yeah, the, exactly, in the Olympics. People say hey, Wallace is unbeatable. Well, he's not. He gets beat. He goes to, works out with people and gets beat up like everybody else does. But the thing you have to think about is I can do something better than somebody else can. I can kick. I can stretch. I can kick faster than somebody else can. Big deal. There are other people people in the audience right now that can do things a lot better than I can do it. There are people that can do weapons, and I don't even know how to hold on to a weapon. I have enough trouble punching and kicking. But there are people out there that can work on cars, people that can run a karate school, people that can run a camera. I can't do that, but you don't see them walking around like they're, you know, the king. I can do something better than somebody else can. Big deal. That's the way I look at it. Uh, international champion, for example, simply means that you fought in events that had competitors from other countries. Exactly. And if you won, you become a, a champion that fought against people from other countries. Yes. We, uh, we had some events where maybe two or three schools would get together and they would call it the World Championship. Oh, sure. So the kid next door all of a sudden was a World Champion. All you have to do to have a World Championship tournament is invite somebody from some other country. Now, Mexico is about Canada. 90 miles from Los Angeles. Right. Okay, if you're in Chicago, Illinois, you can have a world tournament by inviting some people from Canada, which is about an hour flight, right? right? That's what happens. There's tournaments in Los Angeles, tournaments in New York all the time that people call this is a world championship event because we have invited people from all over the world. And sometimes they don't even show up. What do you mean sometimes? Sometimes, most of the time. <laughs> All the time. Well, I mean, you know, if I'm going to have a tournament in Orlando, Florida, or let's say in Tampa, Florida, I'm going to have a world championship tournament. I send a letter to Africa, and I invite the people from Nigeria. I invite the people from Libya. I invite the people from, uh, you know, South Africa. Okay? And I say, I'm sorry, I don't have enough funds to pay your way over here, but you are invited to come. Well, they're going to write back and say, sorry, we can't come because we don't have the money. Well. I can still have the world championship because I did invite you, and which is kind of silly. That's why I don't like to be known as a world champion. I like to be super fluid because when I fought, I fought one guy. What, what do you want to say to these guys about their future? The, the most important thing, you know, I, I am not philosophical or anything like this, but you have to have fun. When you're learning a technique, take everything that happens with a grain of salt. You know, this is a reverse punch. Your instructor says this will kill anybody. You know, this is a reverse punch. You'll put it through the bag. You'll put it through 18 boards like we saw on the, on the video a little bit earlier. Boy, that's devastating. But how many times have you hit a partner or a sparring partner with your best reverse punch you've ever thrown? The guy says, hey, good shot. Never. But it should have killed you. <laughs> well, I'm sorry. I've hit some guys with some kicks that I thought were devastating. And they go, whoo. OK, let's go. And I go. I have to be going. I, you know. But uh, you know, the thing to do is to have fun. Enjoy it. Get out of it what you should get out of it. Learn the art for what it is. It's not a catch-all. It's not a got to make you a, a, that much of a better person, but it will help you. The philosophical aspects of it, the, the confidence building, the physical aspects of it, the physical and the mental together, it, 
I've been doing this since 1963, and I absolutely love it. I would much rather be doing nothing else. 